My name is Ikuo Tsunoda, Assistant Professor of the Department of Microbiology and Immunology at Louisiana State University, Shreveport. In this lecture, I would like to discuss how axonal damage recruits inflammatory cells into the brain in multiple sclerosis and introduce to you what I call the inside-out model. This is an outline of my talk on the roles of axonal degeneration in MS. I will start by reviewing autoimmune etiology of MS and its animal model. Then I will talk about the hypothesis that MS is caused by a virus infection in which axonal degeneration can precede demyelination. Lastly, I will show you evidence that axonal damage can contribute to recruitment of inflammatory cells into the brain. In multiple sclerosis, distinct episode or attack occurs at multiple time points as well as at multiple areas in the brain or the spinal cord. So attacks or lesions are multiple in time and space. Inflammatory demyelination in the brain results in gliosis, that is firm scar or sclerotic tissue. This is why the disease is called multiple sclerosis. Prevalence of MS is high in northern European countries such as Scotland and Ireland and the, M and the US. Comparing with other countries such as Japan and China, a prevalence ratio of women to men is 2.6 to 1. This means that 70% of MS patients are female. What is demyelination? In the brain, a neuron has a process called the axon. When axons are wrapped by myelin, shown in green, neurons can conduct their impulse more quickly and efficiently. Myelin is made by the myelin-forming cell called an oligodendrocyte. In MS and its animal models, death of oligodendrocytes or myelin damage results in loss of myelin sheaths. This is demyelination. So what happens to axons in MS? Axonal damage has been detected in MS, not only in demyelinating regions, but also in adjacent areas that lack demyelination and even in the normal appearing white matter. This has been demonstrated by a new detection method, such as MRI and MR spectroscopy, or immunohistochemistry using antibodies against markers for damaged axons, non-phosphorylated neurofilament, and amyloid precursor protein. Later, I will show you the data using immunohistochemistry against this non-phosphorylated neurofilament. These methods show that axonal damage correlates with clinical disability in MS, and also axonal damage exists in animal models for MS. We do not know the cause of MS. Currently, there are two hypotheses of the etiology of MS. One is that MS is an autoimmune disease, and the other is that MS is caused by virus infection. An autoimmune hypothesis of MS is that autoimmune responses against myelin cause demyelination. Supportive evidences for this hypothesis are, first, you can detect T-cell and macrophage infiltration in demyelinating regions in MS. Second, myelin-specific T-cell and antibody responses have been demonstrated in MS. Third, 
immunomodulatory drugs such as interferon or antibody against adhesion molecule VLA4 is effective in some patients with MS. The last evidence is that you can induce an MS-like disease in animals called experimental autoimmune encephalomyelitis, EAE. Experimental autoimmune or allergic encephalomyelitis, EAE, can be induced in animals by injection of myelin antigen such as spinal cord homogenate, myelin basic protein, MBP, myelin proteolipid protein, PLP, or myelin oligodendrocyte glycoprotein, MOG, emulsified in complete foreign adjuvant. The injection of myelin antigen induces autoimmune responses against myelin sheaths which attack myelin and cause demyelination. EAE has been used as an animal model for MS, since EAE is similar to MS both clinically and pathologically. Animals with EAE develop paralysis and show a relapsing, remitting, or a progressive disease course clinically. Histologically, you can see inflammatory demyelinating lesions in the central nervous system, CNS. How are axons damaged by autoimmune responses against myelin? First, immune responses against myelin attack the myelin sheaths that wrap and protect the axon. This results in primary demyelination. If inflammation is severe here, this le lead to secondary axonal degeneration in a bystander fashion. Since the region develops from the outside myelin to the inside axon, I call this the outside-in model. In general, many MS researchers believe that this is how axons are damaged in MS. However, I will show you evidence that cannot be explained by this model in the next slide. These are three findings suggesting that axonal damage is independent of demyelination or inflammation in MS. First, axonal damage is found not only in demyelinating regions, but also in adjacent areas that lack demyelination, and in remyelinated areas, and even in the normal appearing white matter. Since damage in the normal appearing white matter is often observed in MS, NAWM becomes a keyword in MS research. Second, there are some autopsy reports of MS where axonal damage did not correlate with acute inflammatory demyelination or T-cell infiltration. And lastly, the gray matter, which is rich in neurons but not myelin, is often involved in MS. Let's move on to the second part. Is MS viral infection? The viral hypothesis of MS is that direct virus infection or antivirus immune response causes demyelination. This is supported by the fact that viruses themselves and antiviral immune responses have been detected in MS patients. Among viruses, Herpes virus has been associated with MS most often. The second evidence is that some viruses are known to induce demyelination in animals. The most frequently used viral model is Tyler's virus infection. Tyler's murine encephalomyelitis virus, T 
TMEB is a non-enveloped, single-stranded RNA virus and belongs to the Picona virus family. Other viruses that belong to the Picona virus family are poliovirus, coxsackie virus, echovirus, and rhinovirus. Tyler's virus was first isolated by Max Tyler in 1934. Max Tyler is famous for development of vaccine against yellow fever, and he was awarded the Nobel Prize in 1951. The disease caused by Tyler's virus is similar to MS both clinically and pathologically. Clinically, infection in mice results in paralysis and the disease course is chronic progressive. Pathologically, you can see inflammation and demyelination with virus persistence. As I will explain in the next few slides, axonal degeneration is also seen. The cause of demyelination is not clear. There are two theories. The first one is that direct virus infection kills myelin-forming cells, oligodendrocytes, and causes demyelination. The second one is that demyelination is mediated by immune responses. Some research groups propose CD4 positive T helper 1 cell is an effector and others propose that CD8 positive cytotoxic T cell is the effector. In addition, antivirus antibody has been shown to cross-react with myelin antigen.